let's sketch the graph of y is equal to uh, log base 2 of x plus 3 plus 2. Now this, you know, you have any graph and it's a transformation of any graph. Uh, whatever inside the bracket uh, transforms the graph horizontally and the number which is outside the outside the bracket uh, transforms this vertically. So this too tells me, okay, so what is the basic graph? So you should know the basic graph is y is equal to log base 2 of x. So this is the graph which is transformed to give you this graph of log base 2 of x plus 3 plus 2. So what has happened? This graph has transformed to this. So this 2 tells me that this graph has gone 2 up. So how you write that as a, as a vector. So I'm going to write this as a vector. So this has gone two up, so I'll write two down. The number down tells me the vertical transformation. And the number up tells me the horizontal transformation. Now to understand the horizontal transformation is <coughs> to set this equal to zero. So if you set this equal to zero, you can see this has moved three to the left. So it has gone three to the left. So that's just, this is how you can show that it has moved three to the left and two up. So this basic function y is equal to log base two of x has moved three to the left and two up and has become this. So let us first graph this uh, basic function of y is equal to log base two of x. From that we can very easily graph the required function. Okay, so log of zero, I hope if you put zero, this is log base two of zero. So here you're asking the question, two to which number gives you zero? So two raised to which number gives you zero? So you raise two to any number, it's never going to be zero. So that's undefined. So x is equal to zero is undefined, or that's an asymptote. And I hope you know your y-axis is called the line x is equal to zero. So your function cannot be zero or a negative number, suppose. If you, I hope, so let me show that on the calculator. So if you go log of, say, zero is undefined. Okay, it's a maths error. Okay, so your asymptote, horizontal, uh, your, your y-axis is an asymptote. So this is an asymptote. Okay, so your your function is never going to become equal to zero. Your log log is undefined for negative and zero. I hope you know that. So if you take the next number is one, say. So you ask the, the function becomes log base two of one. So here, as you know, log is nothing but the inverse of exponent function. So you're asking two to which power gives you one. So two to the power zero gives you one. So when x is one, your y is zero. When you put two, this is log base two of two. So two to which power gives you two, so that's one. So the next need point is four. So you're asking log base two of four. I hope you can see the pattern, two to the power two is four. And let me take the final point, say eight. I hope you can see the number, these patterns. So log base two of eight is three. Now if you want to do this on a calculator, two to the power three is eight. So this is what, this is how I see whenever you write a log form, I see this like 2 to the power 3 is 8. Okay, and 2 to the power 2 is, 2 to the power 2 is, four. just for revision, say log, say, okay, now if you want to do this on a calculator, this is base 10, so when you type in log, log has a base 10, so if you want to do this on a calculator with base 2, this is how you do, log, 8 divided by log 2 will give you log 3. So this is nothing but log base 2 of 8. 
So if you go log 16 divided by log 2, sorry, log 16 divided by log 2 should give you 4. Okay, because this is nothing but log base 2 of 16. Okay, or suppose if you go uh, log 32 divided by log 2 will give you 5. Because this, there's a rule like this. I hope you know that rule. The rule is, uh, let me write it here. Log base A of B is nothing but log B divided by log A. So this is a very useful rule for you to remember. Log base A of B is log B divided by log A. So let us plot these points. So your y-axis is an asymptote. When it is 1, it is 0. So let me plot 1, 0. So this is 1, 0. Then you got 2, 1. Then you got 4, 2. And then you got 8, 3. So, and the next point will be 16, 4, and so on. So graph will be asymptoting towards your y-axis. That means, I hope in, the, in my previous video I explained when this function is approaching 0, uh, when x approaches 0, your function will be approaching negative infinity. Okay, so you can plug in, say, let me show you that. Once again, it's always good to understand. So if you plug in log 0 0.00001 one divided by log 2. This is negative 16 points. So as this number approaches 0, your this function is going to be approaching negative infinity. So that's why this is approaching negative infinity. Now to graph this function, we have to just plot the transformation of these points. So here, the, your asymptote is going to go 3 to the left going to go 3 to the left. So this is x is equal to negative 2, negative 3. Because the whole function is transformed 3 to the left and 2 up. So your asymptote changes to x is equal to negative 3. So this is your asymptote. Because plus 2 is not going to affect the asymptote. Okay, It's only going uh, a horizontal transformation. So this point this point 1, 0 will go 3 to the left and 2 up. So 1, 2, 3 to the left and 2 up. So this is this point. Okay. Uh, this I'll... So let us uh, plot the next point when x is. Uh, so this point 2, 1 will go 3 to the left. 1, 2, 3 and 2 up. And this point will go 3 to the left, 1, 2, 3, and 2 up. Okay, and finally this point, 8, 3, will move 3 to the left, so 1, 2, 3, and 2 up. So this is your graph. Uh, that's a uh, that This is a required graph. We are asymptoting towards x is equal to negative 3. So this is the graph y is equal to log base 2 of x plus 3 plus 2. And this is your graph of y is equal to log base 2 of x plus